All right, so this is Kenny Santos with another uh, multi-level marketing success tip um, out of Toronto, Canada for KennySantos.com. And this one has to do with who you are being because who you are being has a direct impact on the tasks that you do at hand because we may do the tasks that we need to do. And you know what? If you don't know what the tasks are on a day-to-day -day basis, every day you should be inviting someone. Every day you should be doing a presentation. Every day you should be, you know what, um, closing people. And if even if you're doing them, if you're not being the person that, that they want to follow, then those tasks, you know what, how do I say it? They may be uh, a waste of time for you. You know what, you may get one or two people, but your percentages of closing and getting people to join you in this journey go way, way up if you're being a leader. So let me give you an example. Let's say you want to invite your friend Bob out to coffee for a one-on-one. -on -one. You know what? If you're being that leader, you may some say something like this. They say, hey, Bob, it's Kenny. Listen, are you free tomorrow? You are perfect. Listen, I'm going to pick you up. I'm going to buy you some coffee. We need to chat about something. Um, you know what? And it's that sort of leadership. And, of course, Bob's going to say, yeah, you know what? Uh, especially if you say something like, yeah, I'm buying. Let's talk. Let's catch up. Right? However, if you say something like this, hey, Bob, um, it's Kenny. Uh, yeah, you know what? I know that you're like a busy guy, but would you like to perhaps maybe consider, well, I don't know, maybe having a coffee tomorrow night? Bob's going to be like, you know what? Tomorrow night, you know what? The kids, uh, you know what? I, I coach volleyball. I do this. You know what? You know what? That leadership isn't there, so chances are that he won't accept your invitation. Same thing when you're doing a presentation. If you use the words perhaps, maybe, consider, well, I don't know, you know, um, um, words like that, those are not words that leaders, that leaders take or that leaders say. You know what? They, they eliminate those words and then as a process or as a result, you know what? You're not being the leader that they're looking for and that they, and they want to follow. Um, this should go for not only your warm market, but your cold market as well. And also, this is especially important when you're talking to your downlines warm market. All right. If someone is, um, you know what, you just recruited someone into the business and they bring some of their hottest prospects, you don't want to say something like, you know, would you like to perhaps maybe uh, consider, well, I don't know, making more money. You know, it's just not going to be the same sort of confidence. And you want to have that confidence. You want to be a leader. So hope that helps. Actually, I know that it does. Um, what I invite you to do is this. In the uh, description of this video, I'm going to have a link. And that link um, will bring you to another page. And it's going to give you an offer. And that offer is real simple. It's if you want to download the seven deadly sins of multi-level marketing. It's a free MP3 download. And uh, you know what? Once again, it's called the seven deadly sins of multi-level marketing. And more importantly, how to avoid them. Um, hope you like it. What I invite you to do also, um, uh, share, comment, like, um, subscribe to this video. And you know what? I will talk to you soon. Create a wonderful day.